Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sin of Saints, and welcome to my channel. If you enjoy the content, please leave a like, share, and subscribe for more. So, uh, in today's episode, or, well, it's not even an episode, in today's video, uh, I'm going to be running, uh, Tier 1 Barbarian Infantry with Arminius as the commander. I'm doing so in honor of uh, my good buddy Darkness. I can't wait to see him on the battlefield again soon. Um, but this is specifically to test the AI to see what ways I can abuse it and um, to see how effective it is. They said that one of the things that they wanted to rework was how the AI behaved. They said that they thought it was too challenging last time. Uh, so I wanted to get in and see how the AI behaved and see what how it handled matchmaking and things of that nature. It would appear right off the start that the matchmaking is fairly balanced. Uh, as it seems to be to me that the matchmaking has done its best to more or less balance the type of units that are being brought. However, from what I seen during the gameplay, there were significantly higher tiers on the AI's team, which gave them a slight advantage uh, in some aspects. Again, uh, we're just going to see what we can accomplish. So here we go, we start our first assault, we're sending one, two groups to capture and one to attack these archers. Uh, right out of the bat you see that we ran into some trouble, so let's just see how we perform. Uh, we're not performing well and the AI's archers are targeting us, so we're gonna bounce from there. Uh, just to save us from completely dying. On the other side, we are losing. So my goal now is entirely to capture their base and to see how they handle it. Uh, figure out what their reaction times are, things of that nature. So far, it seems like they are willing to completely ignore their base being captured in lieu of pushing. Now, it could be that they haven't noticed it yet. Uh, maybe they're trying to mimic humans a little bit in how they would notice and when they would notice and things of that nature. I don't really know, but they haven't immediately turned around to go and fight me. Uh, this could just be a particular instance, or it could be a pattern that the AI has, which would make uh, back capping on the AI uh, significantly easier by comparison. So we'll run back, we'll get some health here on our third group, and we'll move our other two groups to their base. See if we can uh, back cap their base without really any resistance. And if that's the case, then uh, there's a clear issue with the AI that needs to be operated on. So let's go ahead and continue with that assault. Uh, got some commanders coming back here, maybe. Or maybe not. It's a little bit hard to tell. Let's go ahead and get this other unit moving up here. Ah, uh, there was an archer unit I saw there. Um, unfortunately, it is protected by Roman infantry, and we just will not win that fight. I still feel like all Barbarian Infantry should have Pila. I feel like it would be very beneficial to them. But I understand why some of them don't have it. So, we're already capturing their base right at the start. It does appear that this unit is teleporting back in order to stop us from doing that. But in doing so, it has left this archer completely exposed, and I am very confident in our ability to handle the archers. 
It will take a lot of damage, but we should be able to deal with it quite nicely. Uh, he has returned with all three of his units, so let's see what we can do here. See if we can run the AI around a little bit. Uh, stop them from being effective anywhere else. And hopefully we can manage to continue the cap. Alright. Uh, they are still being able to use abilities. That was a pretty devastating charge. I assume that that's a Germanicus. Just based on the length of the charge and time. So we'll run off into the woods where we should have a little bit of an advantage. And as you can see, we are cleaning up those archers quite nicely. So we'll move through the woods here, see what we can see is going on. Uh, we do have a small bonus when we fight in the woods, and the Romans do have a debuff. So it could be a potentially good time to engage them, but I'm just not feeling it. So we'll go ahead and let's pull back. Uh, it's just really not the opportune time. If they want to leave that, well, never mind. They're not going to leave that, so time to move on. Uh, we need to deal with the other archers, but we also need to heal. Uh, I'm going to go just straight rush the heal point and see if I can heal. On the other side, it looks like our team is doing okay. They're pushing. Uh, we don't have anyone holding the center, though. Uh, that is an issue. Uh, the Romans have come back, and ouch, that hurts. And we got them coming in from multiple sides right now. Let's go catch this archer. Run back off into the woods. So it does seem like can cheese the AI just a little bit with regards to uh, drawing them back to their main base. If you can capture them, it looks like you can pretty well keep them occupied. Uh, so that could be an issue, but at the same time they do need to defend their base. Uh, so I don't necessarily disagree with that decision. I think it's a wise decision to have the AI be like, oh, we need to go back for our base. I think the issue is, is how much they dedicate to it. Uh, as you can see, we've drawn back a large number of their forces. And it's literally just been us running around harassing them. So I think that that's a good play on my part by the barbarians using them to harass and not just YOLO in and die but I also think it shows maybe a small flaw that the AI has in its reasoning because uh, they are sending a lot back to defend uh, not that they necessarily shouldn't as we are currently contain all the way up to both sides but they also have a direct route to our base uh, and if a large amount of them pushed, uh, there's not many people left to defend, and a large portion would have to pull back in order to defend. Getting on to these archers, that's rather nice. Nice and juicy. Juicy. Some free points, because they can't do anything to me. other unit is retreating all the way back to Bravo to get some health. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem... Uh, 
I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. It the AI does seem to perform fairly well. I would say it makes good decisions. Uh, maybe not always the best decisions, but good decisions. It's still using abilities, which is extremely important to its ability to still remain challenging, but also not be incredibly underpowered or overpowered. Um, is it challenging? Yes. Is it too challenging? I don't think so. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Still, I like the AI where it sits. It sits at a better place, uh, potentially, than where it did previously, as it does seem to uh, provide a challenge while not necessarily being too difficult. Uh, you realize that I'm using tier 1 base infantry, no upgrades, no nothing, and I'm still able to perform fairly well. Maybe not perfectly, uh, and I'm not just steamrolling the AI, but I am performing well and I am causing severe issues to them. So I think that in its current state, we are in a good situation. I think that the AI is tuned right where it needs to be. I think dumbing the AI down anymore is a detriment to the game. I don't think that you're going to um, aid the game's progression or player skill growth at all. I think where it's at right now is actually really good. Of course, I don't know exactly how it processes everything, so I can't speak uh, for like internal measurements. But speaking from things from an outside perspective, uh, it's very effective at doing what it does while still uh, being fairly easy to beat. And obviously, as always, the AI can be cheesed because while it can make decisions super fast, uh, when you've got 10 players, I just I don't feel that the AI can decide fast enough to actually counter us. Now, so far I haven't heard anyone using the in-game voice system. I don't think many people are going to use it. I don't even know if it's actually fully implemented yet. Uh, but I have no desire to use it personally. <laughs> uh, Discord is always an excellent option. My Discord is down below tomorrow. Uh, I definitely plan to be playing with people on my Discord and in the future as well. Uh, so, please go ahead and join that Discord that I will link below. Uh, there's many Total War players, uh, Total War Arena players there. Uh, from many different clans. Uh, but, uh, it's a good place to just kind of go hang out, talk, uh, of course, we are always there as a community talking and trying to aid each other if there are any questions that anyone has. Uh, please realize that we are not support staff. We won't be able to answer all of your questions. We won't be able to do everything for you. But a fair amount of it we will know and we will be able to help with uh, with regards to Total Arena. So, as always, uh, feel free to ask any questions in Discord. Uh, myself and everyone there is more than willing to help uh, figure things out for you. Breaking off my forces here to deal with them. I'm going to send one unit to go and squeeze in between the edge of their phalanx and this building and get around behind them while the other one goes and holds them off from the rear. Got a pretty decent charge into their rear. But now that we've got them surrounded, the barbarians will make very short work of them. One thing that I would like to see 
that they didn't implement yet is going to be the new factions. Unfortunately, they have not brought any new factions to us, uh, which is sad to see. Uh, but right now, the testing goes all the way up to tier 10, so be prepared for that. Uh, right now, there it seems like there's still quite a few people that are going through the low tiers. So, uh, it may be a little bit before some of these battles actually happen, uh, but they do happen. Uh, as I said, I do have a high tier game that I intend to show. I didn't get to play too much on the first day, unfortunately, so uh, I only got a couple of matches to record. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to play more over the next coming days. But that is it for now uh, I don't feel, feel like there's any more need to discuss about the AI I feel like my position on where it stands is pretty clear um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the battlefield and to talk about more games and more plays uh, as always uh, flank and spank and I'll catch you guys out on the battlefield see ya 保卫我军大营胜利就在前方双方正在争夺据点我军正在攻击敌军据点敌军发起攻击一鼓作气我军占领据点